everybody. This is Rusty. I'm going to be showing you a little something that I've worked on on this layout. It's one section. You know, you've seen people kit bash things where take like a kit and cut it and make something a little different out of it than what it originally started or combine two kits into one building or something. What I got is this paper mill complex. I'm going to show you where I use these different kits to kind of make this paper mill complex that I have on my layout. I got the, uh, start out with the superior paper mill that you can buy from this Walther's. This is an end scale. So that end scale kit comes with the craft mill and the main brick building both. And it has some details with it. And then I, I use the three in one building kit you can get from Walther's. You can make three different buildings in one that's in part of this. Then I also have the North Island refinery that's given a little difference different part of the paper mill itself. And then I have some tanks that come from something else. Then I have another little wood chip build, unloading building I have that's a microengineering building that I've painted. And uh, let me show you what, what what we have over here. First off, we have this main building here. You'll have the, the area where you have the box cars can be put in and unloaded in the truck unloading and loading ramp. And I have a few details on the roof. I still need to paint those. Uh, and there in the middle between the craft mill and the the mill, there you have like a, there's a small building there where things can pass through there. And that was that Walther's three in one building. And there's the, the tanks, the particular tanks. I forget exactly the manufacturer of those. And then we have the Walther's North Island refinery back there. And those pulp vats back there and all the pipe racks and everything coming from them was actually part of the paper mill kit. Actually, one of them come with a kit that looks similar to that craft mill right there. It's actually the Metro Power Power Company. It come with some of the paper mill parts with it. I don't know why, but it did. So one of the things you can... Notice now this one a couple videos ago I did a thing where I was weathering the, some kits and this one looks very similar to the power company kit I was putting together but if you see right here this weathering that's on here I have washes and all that but these happen to be decals that's what those are and some of the rest of it is washes and some dry brushing and stuff. But like I said, this right here, even that's a decal. All of those are decals. Looks pretty good. Uh, now this little building here is where we're going to have the wood chips be unloaded. And it needs to be finished assembling with the, the office section there. Need the windows and doors put in it. I have those. And I have some window vent, some roof vents to put on top of all of that. It'll also need to be weathered. It's kind of still in a shiny state, but I actually painted it those colors. They didn't come that color. The roof was kind of a white color and the base part of the building was a tan. A lot of those buildings I've noticed were kind of a blue like that. that are those metal buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone that down. I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it. I may do a little overspray with some spray paint or maybe some dot fading type things. And I know I'll do some pen washes on this thing too. And I'll probably do a little bit of a spray a little, sort of like an overspray on the top of this building here with some brown automotive primer it'll just give kind of a speckled look of some just a rust colored red red oxide kind of color you can see the little excavator back there I also have a couple of cranes that I'd put together that, that, that could go in there as well. I'll have them put away. I haven't done anything with those yet. But basically that is kind of what I have going on with that. I'm going to give a little bit of switching puzzle in there with that. And we got the locomotive there. Now I'm actually going to put in like a run around track right here. It's kind of going to be an interface between this area here which I have the main line here and a little bit of a yard right there. But this whole thing kind of interchange with itself in, in it. And this is going to be like a interchange. You can stop stuff here. The switcher's in the back, like back over here. 
come pick it up, put it in there, then I can pick up stuff here and put it in the other track, and then the other switcher from up here can pick it up. So that's going to be kind of the uh, layout of that thing. I've got some more details to put in there, and it's just now getting started. And there we go. As I add a little bit more things, I'll add some vehicles and some, maybe some more, well, I'm not anymore, some weathering on this building, but the rest of these buildings will be okay. I'm going to show you here real quick the next set of videos I'm going to do on a project I'm going to be working on. The next video, I'm going to, a few videos I'm going to do, I'm going to do a build on this design preservations, grips, luggage. These are pretty simple kits. You got enough pieces to do about all of that, and everything's molded in this rosin. I'm gonna show, go through a little bit of assembly of this thing, painting and weathering. It's probably gonna, it's gonna be a few parts. I don't know, three, four parts, maybe two parts. Not real sure. Well, I'll know when I get to doing it. But this is something I'm gonna be doing. I'll be showing some other world techniques of how to make the brick stand out a little bit with your mortar lines and everything. So I'll be watching for this to be coming up soon after this video. Thank you. Well, that's it for this video. I'll just be on the lookout for the videos I'm going to be doing that design preservation kit. It's going to be a multi-episode build on that thing all the way into painting and weathering. So let's keep your eye on that, and thanks for watching. Thank you.